All right, YouTube, so this vlog idea comes from Mr. Aiden himself, so shout out to you, Aiden. He thought of this vlog. Um, initially, his idea was how to be a boy, but I decided to compromise with him and talk about how to be a boy blogger or boy vlogger, so let's dive in, and thank you, Aiden, for the inspiration. So the first step, honestly, I would recommend, or at least, at least this is how I be, how, uh, how I am a blogger and vlogger, is um, honestly, I try to be as authentic and true to the heart as possible. I know it sounds corny, but be your authentic self the best you can while also looking to improve and find ways you can do better with videos, which I always do, and I end up liking my videos as a result. All right, so step number two is to get a fresh, cool hat with your name on it. I got this from Cousin Luke, so shout out to Luke. I love this hat. I'm not wearing it for the rest of the vlog, but I love it. So step number three is exactly what I'm doing now. Find your vlog niche as you go along or find spontaneous ideas and get good at improvising. I've gotten a lot better at improvising. Sometimes I do make bloopers on the camera or I slip up on my words, but I sometimes leave that in too because it's funny. But um, yeah, definitely step number three is getting good at improvising because unless you're a scripted vlogger, but that's no fun in my opinion, or sometimes it is, but Anyways, if you want to be the best blogger and vlogger, or best boy blogger, bubble boy blogger, whatever you call it, um, learn how to improvise. And yes, um, I know some of you must be wondering, I am definitely louder on camera than I am in person. So step number four of being a boy vlogger, boy blogger, is have fresh merchandise and fresh clothes, but don't be afraid of being seen in the same clothes in each vlog or many vlogs repeated with the same outfits, because I do that all the time. I used to be like, um, when I was think first thinking about doing vlogs, thinking, oh, I need the up-to-date fashion, I need different outfits for each vlog but nowadays I'm like I don't care I like it it's cool it's comfy so stick with it I mean don't wear the exact same thing in every vlog but don't be afraid to be seen wearing the same fresh merchandise more than once and the fifth and final step is don't be afraid to ask for ideas and go outside the comfort zone and realize that you're not going to be a blogger vlogger all in a vacuum that you need some comparisons some ideas from other they say comparison is the thief of joy which is definitely true sometimes but um it's also like you know you can't be a blogger in a vacuum i tried and it's not the best idea so take it from me to explore other ideas outside of just your head so yeah this is this vlog i had no script whatsoever i made this completely on the go as i said i'm getting good and better at improvising so until then thank you all for watching stay tuned for more soon goodbye